it's me Jeanette how are you hope you've been well in today's video I'm sharing some cool stuff that I bought at uh, some charity shops down the way from where I live so I took myself over there I went to I think four places and I just looked at their book section because you can find some really great things for your projects there and this is probably my favorite find so this is a hardbound book it's called uh, wipers <laughs> wiper wipers times <laughs> and I guess it was a publication of like an underground publication during World War One, I, I believe if I read everything correctly and as you flip through the book you can see the some of the things that were printed which are really funny it's a really sassy uh, news I guess it was a newspaper a sassy newspaper <laughs> that was actually pretty funny and so yeah I'm going to be trimming this up I almost don't want to trim it up I kind of just want to keep it because it's such a cool book but I'm gonna trim this up and use it in my journaling layouts probably my junk journals snail mail um, travelers notebooks we'll see how I use this <laughs> and here's another find that I'm really excited about so this is persuasion by Jane Austen which is a fantastic book and also the I want to say that it was in 1995 there was an adaptation uh, film with Amanda Root and Sir Syrian Hines. I know I totally butchered his name, but you guys, it's probably one of my favorite movies of all time. It's so good, and I love everything Jane Austen. So I'm really happy about finding that. And I think I'm gonna use this as a junk journal. So more videos, hopefully videos on that coming soon. Now this guy right here is a dictionary and I used to have a really cool dictionary back home. I still have it. It's in storage. I wasn't able to bring it with me because it's so big and I loved trimming out the pages, pulling out the pages and die cutting just basic shapes with um, either a paper punch, either paper punches or with dies. So I had like heart dies and circles and so I would die cut the dictionary pages and use them in my journaling or for embellishments and it was just a really great way to incorporate that. Now I'm really excited about this Slavic English dictionary <laughs> because I love the print. I love that font. It looks typewritten and I love the color of the paper and I just love everything about it. So what I'm going to do is t trim this up and use them uh, for backgrounds in my layouts but I also want to trim out like the individual words and use them in for collaging and whatnot just to, like label stuff so super excited about this and I have already used this uh, I've made a journaling layout which you guys will see soon and yeah I was so excited for this uh, Slavic English dictionary and who knows maybe I'll pick up uh, Slavic as well and I also bought a few maps and these are great for die cutting and also using your paper punches on to create some embellishments or also if you want to just cut out whole like larger panels of the maps you can use them as backgrounds and I thought this was really funny <laughs> that little saying right there it says please slow down <laughs> um, so yeah I got some maps of the UK and I got a really cool one, found a really cool one of Oxford, which I'm not going to cut up. I want to kind of hang it up somewhere in our flat. I also got some of uh, New Mexico and Arizona. <laughs> now this one I was really excited about. It's called the Work Basket and Home Arts Magazine and it's from 1967 and it's got some really cool ads in here. I don't know, just lots of just really vintage and retro uh not just ads but articles and, and like I think it's for knitting or crocheting I'm not 100% sure but yeah it was so fun just flipping through all the pages and like look at that guy he's a stud what a stud muffin <laughs> and then look at these uh, little dress prints on the right and also I could use that valentine's page for like some kind of valentine snail mail or journaling layout so Lots of cool stuff. It's just, it's cute. It's like a crafty magazine of the past. <laughs> If you've never searched the book section at your uh, local thrift store or charity shop, I highly recommend it. I mean, not just the magazine section or the map section or the uh, book section, but also there's music sheets that are really great, which you've seen, you've maybe seen me use in past projects. So music 
sheets and there's also like retro sewing patterns uh, there was some sewing patterns at the shops that where I was at but they were really expensive and they looked but they were really cool they looked very much like um, Corey the reset girls whole line you know like the vintage retro 60s fashion ladies so that's where she got the inspiration from and so they had those patterns but they were too expensive <laughs> And I also recommend taking a look at the art book section because there will be painting catalogs or art catalogs and they will have like miniatures of famous paintings that you could use in your journaling layouts and also there will be books with black and white photography that are really nice. So yeah, it's worth a look, worth a browse. And I'm all done with this video. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye!